working with drawing tools. After you've opened a new Flash document, you are ready to add some artwork to the project. The tools for drawing and painting are kept in the Tools panel, usually positioned at the left of your Flash screen. Before going through the different tools, we will look at the way Flash handles drawings. The most important thing to understand is the distinction between outlines and fills. When you draw a line, there is no fill, only the outline. When you draw a rectangle or a circle, actually you draw two things, the outline and the fill. Unlike most other programs, Flash doesn't automatically combine these two into one object. The vector graphics you create can be edited at any time. When you edit a vector graphic, you modify the properties of the lines and curves that describe its shape. You can also move, resize, reshape and change the color of a vector graphic without changing the quality of its appearance. Vector graphics are resolution independent. That is, they can be displayed on output devices of varying resolutions without losing any quality. The use of these tools are Pencil tool To draw with pencil tool, follow these steps. Select the pencil tool and bring the mouse pointer on the stage. Click and drag the mouse on stage to draw freehand shapes. You can press the shift key while dragging to draw straight lines in vertical or horizontal directions. Note, using the property inspector, you can specify a stroke, color, line, thickness and style. If property inspector is not visible on your screen, press Ctrl plus F3. Select a pencil mode under Options in the Tools panel. To draw straight lines, select Straighten. To draw smooth curved lines, select Smooth. To draw freehand lines with no modification applied, select Ink. Lines drawn with Straighten, Smooth and Ink mode respectively. Line tool. The line tool is used to draw straight lines. By default, this is used to draw lines that are either horizontal, vertical or 45 degrees between. To draw line, follow these steps. Click on the line tool to select it. Take the mouse pointer to the stage or work area. Click and drag on the stage to draw a straight line. You can press the shift key while dragging to constrain possible angles from the line. Selection tool. Selection tool is the most common tool used to select any item on the stage. The selection tool can also be used to alt shapes. Moving a line. You can move a line with the mouse. Follow these steps. Click the selection tool. Select the line by clicking once on it. Click on the line and hold down the left mouse button. Move it to the new position. Alternatively, you can press the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the line. Curving a straight line. You can turn a straight line into a curve with the selection tool. Follow these steps. Make sure the line is not selected. To do this, click somewhere on an empty place on the stage. Select the selection tool. Click on the line and drag with the help of left mouse button. Release the mouse button and curve line formed. Primitive objects. Primitive objects are the shape that you can edit their characteristics in the property inspector. You can precisely control the size, corner radius and other properties of the shape at any time after you have created it. Draw rectangle primitives. To select the rectangle primitive tool, click and hold the mouse button on the rectangle tool and select the rectangle primitive tool from the pop-up menu. To create a rectangle primitive, drag with the rectangle primitive tool on the stage to draw squares, use shift plus drag. With the rectangle primitive selected, you can use the controls in the property inspector to further modify the shape or specify fill and stroke colors. Draw oval primitives. Click and hold the mouse button on the rectangle tool and select the oval primitive tool. Drag the oval primitive tool on the stage. To draw a circle, shift plus drag. With the oval primitive selected, you can use the controls found in the property inspector to further modify the shape or specify fill and stroke colors. 
These property inspector controls are specific to the oval primitive tool. Start angle or end angle. The angle of the start point and the end point of the oval. Using these controls, you can easily modify the shape of ovals and circles into pie slices, half circles and other creative shapes. Reset. Resets all of the oval primitive tool controls and restores the oval primitive shape drawn on the stage to its initial size and shape. Draw polygons and stars. Click and hold the mouse button on the rectangle tool and select the poly star tool from the pop-up menu that appears. Select fill and stroke attributes. Click options in the property inspector and do the following. In style, select polygon or star. In number of sides, enter a number from 3 through 32. In star point size, enter a number from 0 through 1 to specify the depth of the star points. A number closer to 0 creates deeper points like needles. If you are drawing a polygon, leave this setting unchanged. Click OK. Draw on the stage. Eraser tool. Simply select the eraser tool and drag on the stage to erase things. You can double click the eraser tool to delete everything on the stage. Ink bottle tool. The ink bottle tool lets you to change the stroke color, line thickness and style of lines or shape outlines. This makes it easier to change the stroke attributes of multiple objects at one time. Select the ink bottle tool. Choose a stroke color. Choose line style and line width from the stroke panel. Click the object on the stage to apply the stroke modifications. Paint Bucket Tool The Paint Bucket Tool fills enclosed areas with color. It can fill empty areas and change the color of already painted areas. Select the Paint Bucket Tool. Choose a fill color from the Color Toolbox. Click the shape or enclosed area that you want to fill. Eyedropper tool. You can use the eyedropper tool to copy fill and stroke attributes from objects. Select the eyedropper tool and click the object whose attributes you want to copy. When you click a stroke, the tool automatically changes to the ink bottle tool. When you click a filled area, the tool automatically changes to the paint bucket tool. Click on the object where you want to apply the copied attributes. Pen Tool The Pen Tool allows you to create complicated shapes with curves that may be modified with a great deal of control. Use the Pen Tool to create strokes that are busier curves. You can create straight or curved line segments and adjust the angle and length of straight segments and the slope of curved segments. Brush Tool the brush tool draws brush-like strokes. It creates special effects, including calligraphic effects. Select a brush size and shape using the brush mode modifiers. Select the brush tool, select a fill color, click the brush mode modifier and select a painting mode. Paint normal. Select a brush size and brush shape from the brush tool modifiers. Drag on the stage to draw. Saving a flash document. Click File and then Save or press Ctrl plus S. Select the location to save the FLA file on your hard disk. Name it as Adobe Flash Data FLA and then click Save. Opening an existing flash document. Click File and then Open or press Ctrl plus O. The dialog box appears. Select the folder and the file dot .fla and click on Open button. Closing a flash document. Click File and then Close or press Ctrl plus W. Flash gives you warning if you have not saved the file. Select Yes to save the document. Publishing a flash document. When you have finished authoring your FLA file, you publish it. Click File and then Publish or press Shift plus F12. This generates a compressed version of your file with the extension .swf. This .swf file can be played in the web browser or as a standalone application using Adobe Flash Player.